Cleveland Guardians wrap up the homestand looking for a split. As Tirana starts hitting in the seventh, I think, how can I do this video so it doesn't get copyright claimed like all the other ones recently? Yeah. And as we look at this Bach, I realize maybe someone doesn't like how I'm pointing out flaws in the game. Because this Bach is caused by the pitch clock, specifically the Scherzer rule. Let me explain. The pitcher is waiting for the batter to look up and he wants to come set immediately. He thinks the batter is going to look up, but the batter doesn't and he hesitates because of that. So there is an old school start stop Bach. It's important to look at 507A2 to see exactly why this is a Bach that is caused by the pitcher wanting to delay due to the pitch clock Scherzer rule. And Merrifield lines one to left center. Finally, Toronto gets some hits going. It's now 4-3. Guerrero walks. We have a new pitcher into the game. And here comes George Springer. George Springer at the plate. And a breaking ball. The first pitch is a strike. There's going to be a few fouls, a few balls, and then the ejecting pitch. Yeah. He did, and it's strike three call. There you go. Scraped the bottom of the strike zone. George doesn't like it. And he tells Jeremy Rehack. Anyone notice anything interesting here? If they didn't like my criticism of the Scherzer rule induced Bach, they're not going to like my criticism here about the electronic strike zone. In addition to this wild catcher pull, notice how PZ and Rad are equal at 1.52 feet. This means the pitch is a strike at the very bottom of the zone, but of course anyone watching in dugout in real time will think the call was wrong when it was actually right. As for ejection itself, Springer is fine early, but the arm gesture over the shoulder combined with horrible is what gets him tossed. It's a parting shot ejection, so he's going to act like what I do even though he knows what he did. I was walking away. It's a common tactic of ejectees this day. Walk away, but say something ejectable so you have plausible deniability. I got ejected with my back turned. I didn't... That's what... Schneider comes out of the dugout, says the same, starts arguing pitch location, so he gets run. And now the manager, John Schneider, has been given the heave-ho as well. Classic hold me back tough guy moment. If we had a bingo card of all these ejection features, would you be interested? Or would it just be too easy? Now, what did I do is what George is saying right now. He's talking to the crew chief. Nonetheless, he was ejected as well.